Welcome to Kim 122. I'm Professor Clark and I'm going to walk you through some of the course requirements so that you have an idea of what to expect for this course. So um, the news items can be found here. I have posted um, information. So I thought we were going to be meeting tonight, but uh, Mother Nature thought differently. Um, so just a few things about myself. I love teaching chemistry. This is one of my favorite courses to teach. I also think it's one of the most difficult courses to teach because it's about five chemistry courses smushed into one semester. So it is really challenging in my opinion. As soon as you understand something, we move on to the next thing. So one thing I tell students about this class is you really need to be adaptable and ready for change. And um, you can do it, baby steps. It does require about, if you want an A in this course, about four hours outside of lecture work. So let's say you watch four hours of lecture each week, then um, you should plan to spend about 16 hours, four times four, 16 hours working homework problems. Um, so let me show you where the lectures can be found. Um, so, I have posted the YouTube link and the Unit 1 handout, so you can find the Unit 1 handout. Um, this handout is for your records. It's just your notes, so you can write all over it, study from it, but I go through on the lectures and I fill this out. I do not expect you to hand these in to me. Um, if we would have had class tonight, I would have given you a hard copy of this handout and I will provide those for the rest of the units. For tonight, you will have to print it out you know, for this week, but um, in the future, I will provide those for you. Um, okay, so the lectures can be found on YouTube. Um, and then where, how many to watch, what, um, that can be found on the schedule get back to this window. Okay, so if you go to content, or you can also pull this up from the news item. Um, you go to content and you click on the syllabus. I just added this um, today, so if you looked for it earlier, you wouldn't have found it. Um, it gives a bre grade breakdown. Um, I'm having trouble getting it. Uh, so Exams are 70% of your grade, which is a huge chunk of your grade. I always tell students, whatever you want in the class, like if you want to be in this class, then you need to shoot for a B on your exam. Um, because that is such a big portion of your grade. Um, quizzes, quizzes are going to be given online, and um, they will be given on Mondays. Let me know if that conflicts with your schedule. I can be flexible, but they have to be taken before the next class meeting. So you will have a quiz before I actually meet you in person. Um, and it will be over the lectures that you watched, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, lab reports are worth 10% of your grade. The lab reports come from the blue notebook. And unfortunately, I don't have my blue notebook here with me right now, but um, it's a blue notebook that you can buy from the Johnson County Community College bookstore. Um, Lab exams, they come from the Blue Notebook content, what we do in lab, and we will always do lab on Tuesday nights. I had to think what day it was. It's so weird not having cl or classes on Monday. Um, so we will have lab on Tuesday nights, and I will show you the schedule for that as well. Okay, so the last 5% of your grade is projects. So 1% um, of that projects portion is to complete the unit one portion in your pink notebook. Now, so you might think, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff that we have to add for this class. Yes, but it's good stuff. It's all good stuff. It will help you learn this material better. So the pink notebook is just for your practice. It has practice problems. It has answers to the practice problems. It's a wonderful resource, and um, it can be purchased at the bookstore as well. What I want you to do is actually work the pink book problems for unit one. And I want you to have a tutor at the SRC Science Resource Center initial them. Um, so that can, that's in CLB 112, and I have the tutoring hours on the news um, portion. I posted that earlier today, too. Okay, so 
Um, it's CLV 112A, here are the hours, here are the tutors. And uh, so if you just work on that unit one portion of the pink notebook, get it initialed, hand it in, that's 1% of your grade. I've had students not do that, and it can make a difference in their grade, actually. Um, I don't know why I can't do this. Let me find another file. Okay, so here's another one that I can, hopefully, yeah, I can scroll down on this one. Okay, so we talked about the Unit 1 section of the pink book. 2% um, of your grade is to undergo a test autopsy at the Academic Achievement Center. So, on an exam. So the exam dates are listed at the very top. So um, these are when we're going to take the exams. You don't have to go to the testing center. They will be um, proctored in lab. So on Tuesday nights, you will always have exams on Tuesdays. Um, so an, a test autopsy is just when somebody in the Academic Achievement Center goes over the exam with you. They say, how did you study? Did you eat before the exam? Um, what can you do differently so that you're more successful? So um, you need to have your a test autopsy if you get an exam below a 90%. Um, I recommend doing this ASAP. So if you get a, your first exam is not the score that you want and it's below 90, go do it first and foremost. That way you know the study skills that you need to change. I have students wait until unit five. I'm like, gosh, I wish I would have done this sooner. It was really helpful. So it's just meant to help you. These are all, all these projects are intended to help you, um, not at all meant to penalize you. And the last project, 2% of your grade, um, this is a really, really pertinent project. And I started doing this several years ago because students would always say, what course do I need to take for this program or this program? Or this has a special program, it's an accelerated nursing program. Do I need to take this chemistry course or can I take this? And I would have no idea. But the counselors do. We have wonderful counselors at Johnson County Community College. So all you are to do is to meet with a counselor. Um, and so you set up a meeting. You can contact this number. Uh, this needs to be done before February 23rd. What you, all you're doing when you meet with this counselor is saying, okay, I want to go into respiratory therapist, therapy. What classes do I need to take? or I want to go into nursing, or I want to go into dental hygiene. What do I need to take, and how much have I completed? Then just write up a summary. You can even handwrite it. It doesn't have to be MLA formatted. I don't care about that. I just want to know what you're trying to do, what you need to do to accomplish it. A lot of students just need to take this course, and they're done. Um, and so they just put that, had that last semester. Um, a lot of students have already met with counselors, and some have already met with them this semester. So if that's the case, then we can talk about it. It's a special situation. Um, but the main thing is, I want you to see a counselor. And I have had several students report back and say it was a very useful assignment. They learned they had several degrees. They didn't realize um, they're really close to their goal. Or maybe they didn't know they needed to take a class. So it was they learned a lot. Okay. So, um, now, content. So we've talked about the format of the class, or how the grade breakdown, different projects. Um, so, if you click on Unit 1, yeah, there's, I have the Spring 2016 schedule. And this is, I will have a hard copy of this for you, too. Um, not going to make the Tuesday, January 19th meeting, are we? Um, Darn. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight the traffic though. That was, that was crazy. Um, so what you are to do this coming week is to complete the following lectures. Um, unit 1 through page 26. So that means on YouTube you need to watch through page 26. Um, so that's a lot of work but it will be good to get a jump on it to know where your problem areas are. Um, so you're going to fill out that note packet um, that I showed you earlier. If you want to see it again, it's right here, Unit 1 handout. So you're going to fill that out, and this is not going to be due 
All right, so going back to the schedule, let's take another look at it. Okay, so for this week, um, you need to complete the note packet through page 26. You need to memorize the pink and yellow flashcards. Those are found in the pink book, and they have like the names and symbols of elements. So very useful. It will help it help you. Okay, so the lab manual. You need this is the blue book. Blue book. I should have written there. Um, so prelapse page 15, 21, and 31. Questions page 18 and 20. Pages 23 and 24. And then the worksheets on pages 193 and 194. You will have your first quiz on Monday, January 25th. It will be available from 8 a.m. until midnight. Um, and let me know if that time doesn't work for you. Like I said, I can be flexible. It just has to be before our next class meeting, which would be Tuesday at 6 p.m. Um, lab experiments that we're going to be doing. Uh, experiments, we'll do safety and introduction because we didn't do them tonight. And then we'll try to get through experiments one and three. Um, I want to oops, talk about missing labs. We really have to be quite strict on this. Since lecture and lab are linked in this course, if you miss lab, if you miss more than two labs, then you can get an F for this course. So I want everybody to be careful. Um, okay, um, I didn't mention this before. Okay, the lab attendance. Students who miss more than two weeks of lab may receive an F for the course at the instructor's, instructor's discretion, and I do enforce that. Um, so attendance will be taken at every lab meeting. A sign-in sheet will be passed around 15 minutes after class has started. Those who are present at that point will be counted as attending. Those who are absent or late will be counted as absent. If you're more than 15 minutes late or do not have the appropriate attire, you will be not be able to participate in the lab. Um, and so I get a lot of students who say, I have X, Y, or Z coming up. Um, I need to make up this lab. I allow you to do one makeup. Um, and I have some e-labs, so electronic lab content. I do not allow you to make up labs in other instructor sections. It just gets too confusing, and too many times I've had students say they're going to make up, and they didn't make up, and I made all these arrangements, so it's not going to be possible. And the instructors get frustrated because they're waiting for my students, I'm waiting for their students. So we have e-labs set up. Um, but you can only miss one lab. After that, I just it's it gets too close to um, getting missing more than two weeks of lab. So um, my office is located in GEB 153C. I have office hours. I will be posting them this week, and I'll post them on the news tool. Um, if those office hours don't work for you, you can always email me to set up another appointment. Best way to contact me is via email, and I will try to respond within 24 business hours. So if you email me on Friday night at, say, 9 p.m., I won't respond until Monday, so at 9 p.m., if that makes sense. Um, but I look forward to meeting you all, and I hope you're all snug and safe in your house and not on the road. Um, but again, let me know if you have questions, and... Have a great week. You have a little bit of work ahead of you, but I'm sure you can do it. And, um, oh, one more thing. I always think of one last thing before I'm about to finish lecturing. Um, buy a post-it notepad and keep it by you during lectures. Keep it by you during homework problems. Write any questions that you have on this post-it notepad because it can be very useful. I have students who... When we ask questions at the start of lab, I know I had a question, but I forgot it. I know I had a question, but I forgot it. And then they think of it after they've left. So make sure you write down your questions, and I'm sure you're not the only one with questions. All right. Have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Take care.